What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today Apple released the RC or release candidate build of iOS 18.2 a couple of weeks after the release of beta 4. Now along with this release, Apple also released the RC build for iPadOS 18.2, watchOS 11.2, macOS 15.2, tvOS and HomePodOS 18.2, VisionOS 2.2, along with iOS and iPadOS 17.7.3. But of course, in this video, we're talking all about iOS 18.2 RC. So starting off with the size of this update, it came in at 7.45 gigabytes on my iPhone 16 Pro Max, and that's because we're going from a beta to a final release, which the RC is typically the same as the final public release. So let's go ahead and check out this new build number. So if we go into our settings, general about, the new build is 22C150. And if we go back and check out the modem firmware, that is 1.21.05 on the iPhone 16 series. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 18.2 RC? Now keep in mind, I will be covering every single new feature and change in 18.2 in my what's new video when 18.2 gets released to the general public. I don't wanna repeat myself in this video and then also in that video. So stay tuned for that. This is just going to be showing you all the new features in the RC build specifically, and also cover some of the lesser known features in iOS 18.2 that were brought up in the release notes. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is inside of the music application related to search, because we now have natural language search in music and in TV. So just like we have in photos, you can now use more natural language to search for music. So if I type in hype song, but no rap, it will give me hype songs and it will understand what I'm saying when I say no rap. So you can see all these songs here are hype songs. And I can just read through some of these and tell that none of them are rap and they are some pretty hype songs as well. So that's pretty cool. You can do that now in music and also in TV. So if you go into the Apple TV application and go to search, and if I type in movies about a kidnapping and hit search, it will show me movies about a kidnapping. So we have things like Taken, of course, and other movies where kidnapping may be a part of the plot. Now, Apple also confirmed that we now have hearing aid support in more countries for the AirPods Pro 2. So this, of course, is a big feature where you can do a hearing test straight from your iPhone with your AirPods Pro 2 in your ears, and you can see that they will act as hearing aids if you do have hearing loss in one of your ears. You can see those specific countries right here. And keep in mind that there's two different bullet points here. One is for the hearing test feature where you can see several different locations added and then support for hearing aid feature is only now available in the United Arab Emirates. And while we're in these release notes, I also wanna point out a couple of other changes that we did not cover before with 18.2. And the first one is this bug fix down here where it says iOS 18.2 fixes an issue where recently captured photos do not appear immediately in the all photos grid. So if you were having that bug in iOS 18.1, that should be resolved with 18.2. And then also down here, we have a fix for the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max that says fixes an issue where night mode photos in camera could appear degraded when capturing long exposures. But as far as everything else goes in the release notes, we've already covered those here on the channel. However, I did want to point out with voice memos, we do have a little bit more context here. So it says voice memo supports layered recording, which we've shown, letting you add vocals over an existing song idea without the need for headphones. And then it says this, then import your two track projects directly into into Logic Pro if you have a 16 Pro or 16 Pro Max. And then also in the podcast application, if you go to the search tab right here, you'll notice that the results are more relevant. So these little boxes here are more relevant to what you're actually interested in. And that kind of also goes in line with the new feature here where you go to category. So we now have podcast categories and you can follow shows based on that category. So for example, if I go into design, it will show me popular and just some of the uh, podcasts that are in the design world. So I can discover new podcasts this way. So if I want to go into this podcast right here and then tap on follow, you can see I will follow that. And now when I go back to the main categories page, it will show that I have one followed show 
right there, and I can tap on the play button to start playing that category. And of course, you can favorite these categories as well by tapping on manage right here. And from here, you can select or deselect which ones you want to be kind of pinned up top as a favorite. And I did also notice some minor changes with visual intelligence, Genmoji, and image playground. So first off, in image playground, if you go into an image right here, and if you go to edit, you will notice that when you're making an image in general, you'll no longer have the up and down arrows, the thumbs up and thumbs down. It's now just a condensed three dot menu in the top right. And when you tap on that, that's where you now get the option to copy, share, save, and report a concern. And here's what it looked like before on previous 18.2 betas. It was down here in the bottom center, along with the thumbs up and thumbs down. And that also applies to when you save an image in Image Playground. So you no longer have the thumbs up and thumbs down in the bottom middle. Also up in the top right, we now have the three dot menu right there, whereas before we had the report a concern to the left of it. And and this also applies to Genmoji. So you'll notice that we no longer have this menu right here like we had in beta four where we have the thumbs up and thumbs down along with the three dot menu right there. Now it's just condensed and it's right here in the upper right hand corner. And when you tap on that, you get these options. And then if we launch visual intelligence, there's a slight change here as well. So if you take a picture, you'll notice a change from the previous betas. So before it showed us this three dot menu right there, and that would just allow us to basically do the same things that were here in the pop-up along with report a concern but as you can see that's now been removed and we just have ask and search and if you use the reverse image search feature so if you tap on search right there before it would show report a concern down here at the bottom as well whereas now it does not say that and also if you have an apple watch and you update to watch os 11.2 you can now pause your iphone's video when you're using the camera remote applications so you've been able to do that on the iphone it's Itself. when you're recording a video you can pause but now you can do that from the watch application the camera remote app and of course we do have other big changes like the mail redesign the chat GPT integration and much more which again all of those I will be covering in my what's new video when iOS 18.2 gets released to the general public now as far as the performance and battery life goes here on the RC build I did run a Geekbench test here and we scored a 3497 on single core and 8688 on the multi-core so you can see how that compares to previous runs so you can see here I believe that November 20th was the last time we had a beta release so beta 4 and I ran it immediately after so you can see that the RC build is slightly higher than the immediate run that I did when beta 4 was released so that is a good sign especially since beta 4 has had pretty solid performance so I would expect the performance to be pretty good here with 18.2 RC especially if you're coming from 18.1 the final release of 18 18.2 is going to be better than 18.1 in terms of performance. And then as far as the battery life goes, it's hard to tell if battery life is any better here than what we saw in beta four. You guys will have to let me know what I started this video with. I'm currently at 79% right now, and I've been recording for about 20 minutes. So that seems to be good to me, but it seems about the same as beta four so far, which is not a bad thing. Beta four has had pretty solid battery life for me on all of my devices. And I'll give you guys an update on the performance and battery life in my Apple Weekly episode on Saturday and also of course in the final release video of 18.2. All right, so now let's talk about when to expect the final release of iOS 18.2 and also when to expect iOS 18.3 beta 1. So I would say that we could see iOS 18.2 get released to the general public as early as Monday, December 9th. Now it could come really at any day next week, but I do believe that the earliest and honestly the most likely at this point is going to be early in the week and the ninth is the earliest possibility of that happening. So we'll have to wait and see. Apple has been very unpredictable lately, but we should be seeing that 18.2 final release next week. And then as far as iOS 18.3 beta one, I am expecting to see that before the end of the year. So I would expect to see that shortly after the release of 18.2 when it goes out to the public. So it could come out as early as that same day or the next day. But again, it's hard to tell with Apple's schedule what they 
they will do, but expect 18.3 beta 1 before the end of the year. But keep in mind that the second beta will likely not come until sometime in January. So there you have it. That is the RC or release candidate build of iOS 18.2. And keep in mind, this will very likely be the same build as the final release. There is a possibility for a change in build, you know, numbers when the final release gets pushed out, but more times than not, it is the exact same as the RC release. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my 18.2 what's new video, which is coming most likely next week when it does get released. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.